So the foundation's main Buddha Day ceremony is held at Hualien Jingzhu Abode in a temple in Taipei. We meet a father who showed us the admin responsibility of supporting a family of eight. Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Siri Su. Thank you for joining us. On May 10th, City Foundation's main Buddha Day ceremony was held at Hualien's Jingzhu abode. Through internet live streaming, the ceremony was simultaneously held at Lingji Hu Guo Chen Temple in Taipei. Uh. The first main Buddha Day ceremony is held at Hualien Jingzhu abode and simultaneously at Lingji Hu Guo Chen Temple. Buddhist practitioners purify their minds at the occasion. Through technology, there's TV and internet live broadcasts of the ceremony. In many countries, attendees make vows and repent through internet broadcasts. Wang This is a quiet and peaceful moment. Facing a pandemic, people need to uphold their correct thoughts and work together with love. 庆祝佛诞这一波的疫情更是带给了人间的一个大教义啊。The Dhamma Masters are two places lead the public with compassion to pray to the heavenly beings. They also express their gratitude and pray that the pandemic will end soon. In the past years, hundreds of Dhamma Masters would attend the Buddha Day ceremony held at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. This year, because of the pandemic, a small ceremony was held at Lingji Hu Guo Chen Temple, attended by Buddhist representatives. Amidst the Buddha chanting, 32 Buddhist Dhamma Masters from Lingji Hu Guo Chen Temple gradually walk out. This year, a pandemic has struck the world, causing much suffering. The Dhamma Masters join together to pray for the world, led by Dhamma Master Jing Yao. While paying respect to the Buddha, the Dhamma Masters also share their thoughts. If we excavate from the earth endlessly or if we fight amongst each other, we won't be able to bear the disastrous consequences. Many disasters are caused by people's minds. Most importantly, we should purify our habitual tendencies and enhance our great love. 
while encouraging the public to purify their minds, they also promote physical cleansing. In the future, there will be a problem of the food shortage. If people can embrace the vegetarianism, I believe the society will gradually change. Despite the fact the Buddha Day ceremony attendees are smaller in number, the ceremony is still stately and solemn. Taichung Jingsi Hall hosted the Buddha Day ceremony. There were less participants, but everyone was still wearing masks and keeping a social distance for self-protection. Seven in the morning, Taichung Jingsi Hall connects with the Hualin Jingsi abode and begins the Buddha Day ceremony. Besides Siji volunteers present, there are a few special guests, including five Dharma masters from the Huayu abode. We have hope. We hope everyone can now find inner peace through honoring the Buddha. Due to the pandemic, Taichung Jingsi Hall has set up three areas to honor the Buddha. Recycling volunteer Yan Chiujin is praying to the Buddha to help her son who is in a coma due to cancer. He's still in a coma suffering, his organs are fine, but he's just not awake yet. So I've come to ask the Buddha to take my son with him so his suffering may end. Siji volunteer Lai Yian has come to the Buddha Day ceremony for the past 20 years, despite having Parkinson's and needing to use a wheelchair. Peace and harmony for our countrymen and good weather for all. I'm here to pray for everyone. Though the ceremony size has shrunk, the volunteers still use a careful mind to decorate. We have fruit set out for the participants. It's understood we must continue with the vegetarianism to protect sentient beings. Adopting a vegetarian diet to protect all sentient beings, it is hoped we all may be freed of disasters. Due to the epidemic this year, many of Tsuji Buddha Day activities have been reduced in size. On Monday in Dai Village, Ormark, Philippines, after obtaining the government's permission, volunteers have also changed to using a mobile altar in Buddha Day ceremony. Sa Tai Village, naghatag ang mga flyers para pagpa-inform sa mga katawahan na doon ay 3-in-1 celebration Buddha Day, Tsuji Day, and Mother's Day. Tsuji came to the Omak Great Love Village in Philippines and passed the news of Tsuji Buddha ceremony is taking place. We're very excited that we'll have the chance to attend the Buddha Day ceremony this year. We're happy that in this way we can show our sincere gratitude to the Buddha's enlightenment. The villagers were pleased to hear that the ceremony will still take place despite the crisis we are facing nowadays. Oma City is under the general enhanced community quarantine. Therefore, volunteers conduct a meeting for the upcoming Buddha Day ceremony by video. Finally, they come up with a plan of making a mobile altar. We are here now making the mobile altar. The box which we made is to place the Buddha statue and to prevent it from falling. The three mobile altars were made of recycled materials and decorated with flowers, which is full of Nanyang style. On Saturday and Sunday, they will be sent into three routes and provide the Dharma joy directly to the door of 1,500 households in Great Love Village. In Taichung, 68-year-old Mr. Huang has to support his family of eight. While his wife is mentally challenged, his six children are also mentally and physically challenged. Let's meet this amazing father. I often cook when I was a child. Our lives are impoverished. In the evening, we simply heat up the leftovers or cabbage. Mr. Huan is skillful in preparing three meals for the family. 
I started cooking when my wife's health condition deteriorated. She has had colon cancer for three to four years. Mr. Huang shoulders the heavy responsibility of supporting the family of eight. If I don't cook, the children will complain of hunger. <laughs> My husband has heavy burdens. He cooks and does the laundry. <laughs> The clothes are organized and separated. The living room is like a closet. In the past, I did not put the clothes away. Cockroaches and rats bit the clothes and they stank. Swallows have built a nest at Mr. Huang's house. The mother swallow is busy fetching food for the baby swallows. In fact, Mr. Huang is like the mother swallow. He loves his children very much. Father taking up the role of a mother, he has to do everything. If it rains, the wall will leak, starting from here. Mr. Huang is unable to renovate a dilapidated house. In the early years, he did a lot of labor jobs supporting his family. I work for these children. What else can I do? People are like this. We need to feed them. Despite the difficulties in life, Mr. Huang perseveres in supporting the family, thinking for his children. Go, go, go! The six children gather in the living room after returning home from school. Inside the house, the atmosphere is as lively as a market. There are five girls and a boy. The oldest one is 38 years old and the youngest son is 28 years old. <laughs> Being straightforward, Mr. Huang speaks his mind to the children. From his words and actions, one can see the love a father has for his children. <laughs> Being nearly 70 years old, Mr. Huang worries about the future. He hopes that he can continue to care for his children. We take it a step at a time. Just be safe and peaceful. Lin Peiyun was married to Taiwan from Fujian, China, and she opened her vegetarian restaurant eight years ago. Her goal is to have her customers enjoy vegetarian food. Her neighbor, who is a city volunteer, comes to help out. Keeping her initial goal to open a vegetarian restaurant, Lin Peiyun wakes up to shop grocery in the morning every day for eight years. She is strict about the food quality because she hopes her clients can eat safe and healthily. I vary the ingredients I purchase so clients can easily accept vegetarian dishes. Also, I hope that eating vegetarian food can keep many animals from suffering and dying. Hello. She was married to Taiwan from Fujian, and it was not easy to start her own business. Zhiji Wanqiu Li Lingyu is her neighbor and also her second mother in this foreign land. She has helped Lin to do everything. I don't have a daughter, so I believe if we treat others well, we'll gain for rewards. She always gives me a flower on Mother's Day or a piece of cake. With a loving heart, she picked only the clean veggies. Her good cooking skill has attracted many customers during the lunch hours. Hello, 
到面疙瘩。谢谢你。它的面疙瘩。Her noodle has more texture, and the broth is thicker and more nutritious. Some vegetarian food feels not as tasty, but her cooking will make you feel that it's pleased to eat vegetarian foods. At the corner in the restaurant, there's her daughter's blessings to all the customers. Everything will be fine. After the dark cloud, there will be a rainbow and sun. Because of the epidemic recently, I hope that everyone can be healthy and peaceful. In Malaysia, Dr. Jasmine, who is a researcher specializing in microbiology, decided to be vegetarian after doing an animal experiment. She could not bear to see the chicken suffer in the experiment and therefore reflected upon her own eating habits. Dr. Jasmine is a microbiology researcher who loves diving and marine animals. I also love animals and I'm also a diver. So even before starting the journey of becoming a vegetarian, I don't usually eat um, seafood, uh, animals from the sea, <laughs> because I want to see them in the sea rather than being killed. Jasmine, who is also a senior lecturer at the University of Malaya, was deeply impressed in an animal experiment and decided to be a vegetarian. We wanted to study the impact of the virus on the brain of the animals. So in order to do that, we have to extract the brains of the chickens um, after infection. And during that time, during the sacrificing of the animals and also looking at the way uh, the animals were infected, uh, sort of, um, I would say, traumatized me a bit. Uh, I began to look at how I, uh, my eating habits of um, animals, especially chickens. And that's when I took the shift from um, uh, being a carnivore to actually being um, a herbivore. Our Boboka Puasa meal today, which comprises of vegetarian pizza and also some leftovers falafels. Uh, it's also customary to have some fruits, so we have uh, kurma or dates. Since becoming a vegetarian in 2013, Dr. Jasmine had an unbalanced diet at first. After she looked at the meal plans of other vegetarians, she started to eat well-balanced meals. Uh, between my friends, uh, we've started a thing called where we have um, Meatless Monday. I think a lot of people have done it because not everyone can totally shift uh, their perspective into becoming a vegetarian. If I go out and have lunch with them, we usually go to uh, places that offer a vegetarian option. Dr. Jasmine believes that regardless of whether the intention to be a vegetarian comes love or not, actually it is also a self-protecting health behavior. We taken on the animals. We can't just uh, leave it be and let it grow and then slaughter it. That's not right. There, there's also other unknown microorganisms that uh, that is uh, present in the animals. Uh, like for example, we were not prepared for the presence of um, for the emergence of uh, avian influenza H5N1 that causes us to kill all the chickens. With that being said, there's also other microorganisms that we get from eating these animals. Eating meat may testify the temporary appetite. However, we should not sacrifice our health or even cause public health crisis because of our eating habits. There's often a misconception about people with mental illness, but actually when the symptoms of mental illness are under control, those patients can function normally. In Yili Township of Hualien, mentally challenged patients are treated like normal, as there are two large hospitals helping them. Being bullied in life happens to a lot of the mental disorder patients. Xiao Xun, who has schizophrenia, turned her story into a play. If those people didn't bully me, I wouldn't be sick. I could have gone to college. When a child is bullied and his brain can't handle the stress, the symptom of mental illness comes out. 
Survey says the probability of those with mental disease attacking someone is one-third of the time, while the probability of those with mental disease being attacked or discriminated against is 100% of the time. I didn't have the courage before to speak up on my instant, but my social worker encourages me to do so through drama performance. Most of the time, when mental illness patients are troubled by their symptoms, we hope that they are treated like a normal person in society. In Hualien's Yuli Township, residents don't mistreat or look down upon those who suffer from mental disease. We're very familiar with him and we get along well. They're great, very normal. The community residents have come to realize the patients aren't as scary as those they see on television, so their acceptance rate is high. Originally, this farming village was falling behind economically, but the establishment of two large-scale psychiatric clinics in the region has changed things around for Yuli. This reporter is standing in Hualien County's Yuli Township. Inside this township, there are two major hospitals with psychiatric departments, the Ministry of Health and Welfare Veterans Hospital. In total, there are 4,200 patients with psychiatric disorders in Yuli Township, which is about 17 percent of the town's population. The town's mental illness patients have changed from being hated and avoided to now being welcomed as good neighbors. I see them often around here cleaning up. It's great and more responsible and hardworking than us normal people. I've been giving back to society for over 10 years now, and it feels good to get some exercise in and interact with the community. It feels like I won't be disconnected to society. Having the ability to give back to society, many of the patients gain confidence and happiness. When living a joyful life, aches and pains are less likely to trouble you. Due to advancements in medical treatment, the average lifespan of those who suffer from mental disease has changed from 59 years of age 12 years ago to now 71 years of age. This is why many of the patients in the mental institution are seniors. I've been treating patients for long that when their symptoms are not affecting them, they are just like my siblings and family. The establishment of the two hospitals has also meant job stability for many of the families in the local area. Many of our employees, about 1,000 of them are locals. This has been a great working opportunity for them. As her mother has been working at the psychiatric clinic for the last 17 years, when Xu Jiling was younger, she would visit her mother at work after school. When I visited as a young person, of course I was scared. They're not people I'm familiar with, and they also just keep staring at you the moment you walk in. However, after I began the same line of work, I changed to greeting them as I walk in, even though I don't know because they're all very friendly. I don't only recommend my daughter to come here to work, but also including her classmates. Living in a rural region, we are short on nursing staff. Now that she is a nurse, she has joined her mother in helping those with mental illness. My children often remark that I have many friends, as when I'm walking on the street or visiting the market, people will say hi to me, but actually a lot of them are patients. Only when we can change our mindset about mental illness can we really begin to help them. At Gaocheng Jin Sihao, a Buddha Day ceremony was held. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.